This is this is like our life. I don't know if you can hear these big little swallowing. Um, how about this realization for you? Me and the kiddos are allergic to narcissists slash low vibrational energy. So I kind of started making this realization with Tanner, but we'll start with how it all literally did click and I got the confirmation. Um, so my parents spent the weekend with Callie and Hobbs. Um, they went up there for the weekend. They came down, my parents came down on Friday um, morning and my mom packed up the kiddos and um, they brought them up to their house um, an hour away in Peoria for the weekend for two nights and they brought them back uh, late this morning around like 11 and my mom said that the kiddos were sneezing a whole bunch the whole time they were there I was like oh hmm, maybe it's like the change in weather or something like that and I started sneezing. So I was in my bedroom, in my bed with Miss Lily, of course. And my mom was standing next to me. And um, I started sneezing a whole bunch. I was doing some stuff um, for my mail, trying to catch up on it. Um, and like my mom brought it to me and we went through it. And um, so I was, I was doing that and um, she, so I was like, hmm, now I'm sneezing a whole bunch. And I realized that my throat was a little scratchy. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I definitely made a note of it. And I, I wasn't going to tell my mom this, but, um, so I went and I, I did, um, let my mom hold Lily, graced her with Lily's presence while I showered. And I guess Lily actually let my dad hold her for even longer than my mom held her. My parents are so weird. They were barely even there for very long. And they were like, um, getting ready to leave already. I don't even know how long they ended up staying. Um, definitely not even an hour and a half, maybe just over an hour. And, um, so before they left though, after I was done with the mail, I was like, okay, well here, I'm going to let you hold Lily while I go shower. And my mom's like, and, and Jeannie had gotten there by then, um, my nanny. And she goes, oh, well, isn't Jeannie? And I was like, yeah, but she's doing other stuff. Um, for me with the older kiddos and I've got groceries coming that she needs to put away and I was like here you can hold her while I go shower so my mom did but I thought it was so gross like it's so weird like not even wanting to hold your grandchild the only thing I can think of is that she's worried about upsetting my dad um because my mom's basically like hyper vigilant mode too right like trying not to do something to piss my dad off um because of the emotional verbal and definitely previous if not current um my mom complains it's not current um physical abuse and um so i showered and i kind of cleared everything out because <laughs> i was like oh my goodness that is like a ton of mucus that came out of nowhere like lots of inflammation. Like I felt fine before they got there. There was no sneezing or anything like that for me. And I've been spending time outside too. Like um, we had a dust storm the other day and I went outside. It was so windy and I spent quite a bit of time outside until it got too windy for me <laughs> to handle with Miss Lily when we came inside. It rained, um, was that just yesterday? I don't know, all my days run together. 
and we were outside for part of the time for that um and then came inside again when the rain was getting like the wind was picking up and I was getting like splattered with rain <laughs> I was like oh, okay maybe I should bring Lily and I back inside like it was nice for a little bit but this is getting to be a little much um and I've been you know going out some for watching the sunrise and I just spent I don't know probably an hour outside with her right now and nothing no sneezing no sore throat and I remembered that I actually said this when I was with Tanner I said numerous times that I thought I was allergic to him and I said it jokingly it actually used to piss him off which is funny right because it triggered him because it was actually true um but I tried to excuse it as maybe I was allergic to his body wash because he would use all this weird stuff with like caffeinated body wash like body wash with like like with caffeine in it like what the fuck is that and who needs that um I guess somebody whose nervous system is just in total chaos who needs the rush I don't know that's judgment I know but I did think it was a little strange and I am sensitive to a lot of stuff now um chemical wise like oh my gosh I used to wear all the Bath and Body Works all the Victoria's Secret all the right and I can't anymore um so <laughs> make stretches and she nurses and then she's done and she just stays snuggled up to my boob Jesus she's like this is my happy place I can hear your heartbeat um so I did kind of joke that it was like maybe something he wore like his body wash after aftershave or lotion or you know like something and he always used to say that I was allergic to his dog, Abby, who was a red nose kitty. So that short hair. So I was sensitive to Bella's hair when we had her, her short gray furs. But it didn't seem like it was Abby bothering me. And I knew it wasn't because when Tanner went out of town for Christmas and Abby stayed with me for those five days, Guess who wasn't sneezing? This girl. And guess who started sneezing when Tanner got back? This girl. And then, as I was in the shower this morning, putting it all together, I thought about the two years ago on my birthday, um, when Jason came and stayed with me for a night before going out to Vegas. Um, and him and Callie made me breakfast and brought it into me in bed. And I remember waking up that morning. I can't remember if that was my actual birthday or it might have actually been. Um, but the day that we were leaving for Vegas and when they brought it in, I like was super sneezy my nose was all itchy my throat was itchy and I was like no I'm not getting sick on my birthday I'm not getting sick right as we're leaving for Vegas um I am doing this trip and it was literally in the middle of the height of COVID when masks were required everywhere we won't go there when um things were shut down um Vegas was you know pretty much a ghost town <laughs> compared to the way it usually is um and there were actually quite a few families <laughs> became much more family friendly during COVID um and I just remembered brainwashing myself and being like I am well I am well I am well I am healthy I am well I am healthy I feel great I feel wonderful I feel amazing and I did manage to make myself feel great because 
I was not going to go to Vegas with cold symptoms um, for people to freak out that maybe I had COVID. So um, I did manage to feel fine with all that, which was great. But it got me thinking about that and Jason. And I mean, we know for sure um, all the love bombing that he was doing with sending me gifts and PJs and shower and bath stuff and flowers and food the um Lou Malnati's pizza oh my god which was amazing anytime anybody want to sends wants to send me some Lou Malnati's pizza I am game <laughs> but all those notes the pages and pages and pages worth of whatever heartfelt notes Um, but that is major love bombing, right? And that was actually like a huge turnoff at the time because I was still pretty numb at that time. And I remember being like, this is just annoying. Like, cool. Thanks for the PJs. I'll, I'll, you know, wear them, but I don't wear PJs. We know me. I'm like a booty shorts and sports bra kind of gal for PJs when I was pregnant I did like to wear like big t-shirts or the uh the big sleep shirts but I mean you know I'm in a nursing bra right now and a pair of shorts like this is just me um and then I thought about with Callie and I mean in all fairness our house at the end with Dave was It was a disaster. It was gross. Like when I came back after being gone for those two weeks and I came back, the house was literally like filth. But so it had gotten pretty bad. But Callie always used to have trouble breathing. Um, she would be stuffed up. She would have like wheezing. Um, and part of me is definitely wondering if it was the chaos and the inflammation, right? The low vibration, the chaos, the lack of calm. Makes sense that there would be vasoconstriction. Constriction of the, the airways. Um, and the last few times that Callie has gone to Dave and come back home, I actually thought it was allergies because when she would talk, she would yell. And I'm like, Callie, sweetie, I'm right here. And I'm like, are you stuffed up? She's like, huh? I was like, like stuffed up, like having a hard time breathing or like clogged up because you are yelling and it was not normal. And it's probably the last three times that she was there. And so now I'm wondering if it's the same thing. One, I also know Dave does not clean. So I can't even imagine what the apartment is like. I know what state it was in before I ever met him with the kitty litter that had like never been changed, was overflowing, was gross, was, there was clothes everywhere. God. Stuff is such a turnoff for me. I, I really talk about being in a swirl and ignoring all of the red flags. He never cleaned. His bathroom was gross. I'm pretty sure I excused it as like bachelor living. Uh, no, that's just called unhealthy person living. Um, so it just, oh man, it makes me cringe to think that like. I didn't even, like, that didn't even phase me. Because that's just not my true self at all. <laughs> like, um, but yes, yeah, so I thought that was a huge realization. And I'm okay with that being the sign for 
inflammation, irritation, chaos, right? That the person that I'm with does not resonate with me. We'll put it that way. I'm okay with that being my sign. Oh yeah, my ears were like even popping in the shower. Like literally, I was like trying to scratch like my throat and the top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth with my tongue. And I was super, pardon me, snotty. And my ears were popping and I was like, what the? And also in the shower, I remembered that um, Gabor Mate, the one who specializes in trauma and um, the Compassion Prison Project and stuff like that. When I was watching his documentary with his wife, he actually, they said that she can tell when he's lying because her neck hurts. So he literally cannot lie because she knows like human lie detector. I was like, hmm, so this is kind of like my, my human low vibrational radar. And I'm okay with that. I'd much prefer that over like the psoriasis. And I feel like I can listen to this as a sign of if I'm around somebody and then all of a sudden I'm stuffed up, like, whoa. So, um, yeah, fascinating. Let me know what you think. Uh, and in my bedroom, as I was coming to that realization, of being allergic to low vibrations, <laughs> I decided to check to see how hot it was outside, and it was 88 degrees outside. So definite, definite confirmation from the universe that that is going to be my tell sign of being around people, person that does not resonate with me.